Hello friends, hi, this is Dr. Vinayak Ringan here and I'm here to talk about how do you prepare for neat SS general surgery which is going to happen in January 2025. I'm sure a lot of you are stressed about the fact that the exam has been postponed. It was supposed to happen somewhere around July or August and it's postponed to uh, January for reasons inexplicable. But um, we like to deal with situations. We are surgeons after all and uh, we deal with unexpected situations very well. I know it is stressful but you'll have to take it as it comes. So we have um, August, September, October, November, December. We have five months with us and five months are more than enough to get a top 100 rank in NEAT SS general surgery is going to happen in January 2025 and I'm going to tell you exactly how to go about doing this. This is after four years of experience in training students exclusively for NEAT SS general surgery 2025 and uh, we're going to talk about what books to read, how to study, how to uh, create a timetable, uh, whether you should go to work or not. So all these things are something which you're going to be discussing. So first, let's start off with how to start your preparation. Starting your preparation is going to be very crucial. Uh, as I've told in many of my previous videos, you will have to start by reading gradually. You can't start reading 14 hours a day. My strategy, which I personally advise is take up a small book, a uh, non-fiction book perhaps, get into the habit of reading for about 15-20 minutes a day before you actually start your preparation. Do this for one week and you will find that you are able to a focus on your actual academic books a little more easier and at a much faster pace than what you you start suddenly because we have we have been working for a long time we have done our pg so it's not going to be easy for all of us to start studying right away so simple tip to start studying off start reading newspapers more start reading books of fiction more just for a few days one or two weeks before you start your actual preparation next what textbooks to read now this is an area which i've emphasized a lot of times before uh, there's going to be three major textbooks. One is Bailey and Lau, 20th edition, uh, the latest edition of Sabiston and Schwartz, Sabiston's 21st edition. And uh, each of the books has its own uses. You can't read all the three books completely. You will have to read Bailey, but you can't read Sabiston and Schwartz completely because they are humongous textbooks on their own. And five months is not going to be enough for that. So how do you go about doing that? You will have to read Bailey and Lau totally all topics. For certain topics which are going to be slightly difficult or irritating like orthopedics or uh, opca and i would suggest that you start you only watch the general surgery video lectures for that topic because that is more than enough to cover the important topics in obstetrics and orthopedics for the general surgery part billion love is going to be the most crucial part each and every line in billion love 20 edition is important there are a few concepts um, few paragraphs which are available in 27th edition and not in 28th edition for that specifically you can solve the mcq bank where we are specifically mentioned in the explanation that this is a concept which is there in 27th edition but not there in 28th edition so these concepts might be tested if your examiner who has said the questions is having the older edition of the book and i think the new edition has been out for the past three years right now so you know you really cannot uh, expect all the older examiners to forego the old textbook as well um, when you're solving the questions, you have to realize that uh, some of the concepts are from Sabiston and Schwartz. That does not mean you have to go back to Sabiston and Schwartz and read those concepts in detail. We specifically put those questions in the MCQ bank. Uh, those are the concepts which have been distilled from the textbooks so that you don't have to go read uh, Sabiston and Schwartz. So read Bailey and Love, solve the question bank. That covers all the important concepts from um, Sabiston and Schwartz for the general survey part. Next is going to be the part on endocrine surgery. Endocrine surgery is a very crucial uh, part, especially breast, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal. Uh, parathyroid and adrenal, I would say Bailey Love is more than enough. But for breast and endocrine, Schwartz is the key. You will have to read each and every line of Schwartz. And if you don't have time, please, please watch the video lectures on the search list app. Dr. Praveen Shikran has done a very good job at that. There have been some test and discussion videos also added to the video lectures. So those are extremely crucial for you to get a good understanding of um, the concepts of endocrine surgery and they actually do test from Schwartz. So um, this is from my personal experience of having written exams, of having trained people for these exams. Please don't go for go Schwartz when it comes to endocrine surgery. Uh, when it comes to GI surgery per se, uh, Sabiston is going to be the key, including liver transplant. Uh, Sabiston line by line, if you do have the time, it's great. But if you don't have, please make sure that you see the search list general surgery video lectures at least once and start making your own notes. Bailey Love is definitely you know, a must. You will have to read each and every line of Bailey Love GI surgery. But add to that, Sabiston is uh, very essential. When it comes to urology, Bailey Love is more than enough. You don't need to read Sabiston or Schwartz. Uh, you will have to read Bailey Love each and every line. Uh, it's completely uh, inexcusable if you miss out even a single line of uh, Bailey urology. Uh, 
uh, in the question bank we have added certain important concepts which are frequently tested from campbell and so you don't need to worry about you know going back to campbell and reading those concepts just solve those questions read the explanations and be happy with that when it comes to plastic surgery brain love is more than enough to read it again and again a lot of questions come there are a few questions which are not there in bailey um, um those questions are repeatedly tested uh, those concepts alone we have added in the mcq bank and the video lectures as well now when it comes to vascular surgery and ct yes vascular surgery is very important bailey love super important sometimes the e version of the book or the print version may not have the chapter on lymphatics so uh, if not please make sure that you read the chapter on lymphatics uh, from the book uh, from the actual print textbook if you don't have it in the e version um the video lectures are pretty comprehensive they are more than enough but if you do have time um not compulsory but if you do have time go read the sabiston chapter on vascular surgery for ctvs bailey and love is more than enough but our uh, video lectures are very comprehensive with regard to both thoracic surgery and cardiac surgery uh, we have a um, couple of sessions on uh, cardiac surgery test and discussion by solesha and those are crucial uh, because those cover the previous year questions those cover the concepts in pediatric cardiac surgery so if you don't have time to read sabiston or big textbooks you don't need to actually it takes a lot of time for sure uh, please go through the video lectures and the test and discussions on the search test app for um, ctps um i think i covered most of the important topics we covered plastic surgery vascular ctps uh, we have covered um, gi surgery the next most important concept is ent ent is a very frustrating topic sometimes uh, when i was preparing i kind of conveniently tried to skip as much ent as possible i didn't want to read about tonsils and adenoids i wanted to leave it to my ent friends but um, when i realized that they are wanting to uh, encroach upon thyroid I decided that you know I kind of should start uh, reading about uh, ENT at least for needless preparation you can't skip it totally so it's going to be extremely crucial for you to read ENT and for those who kind of find it frustrating we have had uh, excellent lectures from our expert faculty on the surgeons general surgery video lectures so that's going to be super crucial for you uh, next is trauma trauma belly and love is more than enough if you do have time Uh, read the ATLS guidelines. Uh, if you're very lazy, see the video lectures. But I would personally feel that uh, for the most important concepts in trauma, Bailey Love is more than enough. The video lectures kind of give you a little more additional perspective on pancreatic injuries, abdominal trauma, a little more. Uh, that will definitely be useful. You need to assess. Uh, and if you're aiming for your top hundred ranks, I would suggest that you watch the video lectures as well. Uh, of course, you can't skip the textbook. One. Uh, I think that uh, overall covers uh, most aspects of. Um, which textbook to read what topics to read i think the next most important concept is um, how do i prepare um, so i would say that you start reading for at least 4 to 5 hours a day for the next 5 uh, months of this to for the first next 4 months and during the last month uh, i would suggest that you uh, ramp up your preparation to 10 to 12 hours a day um, which means that you will might have to quit your job or take a very relaxed job uh, work from home obviously is not possible for surgeons uh, and um for some of you for familial compulsions or financial compulsions you might not be able to do that totally understandable but please try to amp up your preparation to uh at least 6 to 7 hours during the last um one month if you're aiming for a top 100 rank uh but one more thing which i'd like to tell you is that there are people who because of certain compulsions they were unable to quit their job they have still managed to get top 20 or 30 ranks it requires a lot of dedication and hard work but if you want it badly enough you will be able to do it i personally feel it should not be a major issue uh, totally um and uh, how do i study the most crucial part is solving mcqs toppers uh, if you talk to jaydeep uh, he was a rank one uh, last year and he was doing surgical oncology at tata and uh, his strategy was very simple so he used to communicate with me almost every 3 to 4 days or every week and he used to tell me sir this week i am just up this week i didn't study this week i studied but it, every day every week at least five days a week he used to study uh, he used to solve 100 mcqs and that 100 mcqs is super crucial for you to do your exam really well um if you are unable to solve the mcqs at least try to keep a smaller target 50 mcqs or 75 mcqs but it is crucial that you go over the search test mcq cycle at least three times there are 3000 mcqs and you got to solve it uh, three times so 9000 mcqs you will have to solve okay and you will have to decide how you want to solve it the second and third time you solve it it's going to be much faster you can do 150 mcqs or even 200 mcqs a day but it's very crucial that you go through the cycle at least three times This is not for the top 500 ranks, 1000 ranks. This is exclusively for top 300 ranks. Um, but if you want 
the top seat of your choice. If you want to do surgical oncology in Tata or GI surgery in GP Pant, you need to go through this grind. And uh, I would say that's uh, uh, that cannot be excused at all if you don't go through this grind. Um, and how do I solve this? I personally feel that you know uh, commute is a major problem when it comes to uh, studying. So if you're driving every day and you or spend about 45 minutes driving try to take public transport or a cab if possible public transport is going to be cheaper for sure when you're traveling in public transport you cannot uh, read a textbook but that gives you enough time to solve any skills which means that your mind space during your core study time is reserved for textbook reading or making notes from video lectures which means that it gives you enough time to prepare um, well prepare hard and complete your daily quota of MCQs. This is a strategy which I followed when I was preparing for my MCH exams. Me and Dr. Gopi Gopi is my co-founder of at search test. He's a GI surgeon. I'm doing pediatric surgery. We regularly used to solve MCQs while we were working as APs in a private medical college in Chennai. We used to travel 45 minutes or one hour by train. And uh, before we got down at our station at Potteri, uh, that was the name of the station. Uh, we would have solved at least uh, 75 to uh, 100 MCQs and that was the time we were building search so we used to solve our own MCQs, uh, make printouts, solve them. Very interesting phase of our life but it gave us a lot of lessons. We realized that during travel you cannot read textbooks but you will be able to solve MCQs for sure. And uh, when do I watch video lectures? Mm, how much video lectures should I watch? Try to restrict your video lecture watching to one and a half hours a day because it definitely takes a toll on your mind. The best time to do it is before sleeping because before sleeping you're in a mood to watch a mood to watch a movie you're in a mood to watch house of dragons you want, want to watch the latest edition of mazapur and uh, you are want to scroll instagram reel so that visual stimulation that video provides will be able to satiate that need so if you do want to watch um videos if you are in the mood to watch videos night time before sleeping is the best time because at that point of time you are completely exhausted to read anything new but some people do solve mcqs during that point of time as well um so that's it guys, uh, I think I've given you a lot of advice. Um, I'm sure if you're able to follow 80 to 90% of it, you will be able to get a fantastic rank. And I really ho do hope, I um, I pr can promise you one thing, uh, the Sershus team and me, uh, we're going to be uh, holding your hand to this entire journey. So you can feel free to contact us anytime. You can uh, leave doubts in your comments. If you wish to talk over phone to me, we can do that as well. Uh, but I wish to assure you that we're there for you uh, during this entire journey. And for those who are preparing for neat assist, general surgery is going to happen in Jan 2025. Um, I wish you all the best. I wish that you get a top 100 rank and you get the seat of your choice. All the very best guys. Do subscribe to our channel as well.